Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be giving you the strategy that I used in Calc 2 to help me prove that a series was convergent or divergent without me being given a test to use in the problem. Okay, and I did that using the acronym DICLAR. Okay, and that wasn't just a way for me to memorize the seven tests. Okay, these this DICLAR stands for the seven tests. Okay, the divergence test, the integral test, the comparison test, the limit comparison test, the alternating series test, the ratio test, and the root test. Now this list of tests wasn't just to help me memorize all the tests, okay? This was an order that I, it was kind of like a checklist, okay? Can I use tests for divergence? That should always be the first thing that you ask when you're trying to prove if a series is convergent or divergent, okay? And that would be the first thing that I would check, okay? Next, I would look at, can I do an integral test on this? If I couldn't, then I go to the next thing, the comparison test. Can I probably, you know, can I compare this to anything? Well, it looks like it, I could compare this to, to maybe this, okay? Well, then I use the comparison test and prove that, okay? Now, if the comparison test doesn't work, I move on to the limit comparison test, okay? Now, if none of those tests are going to work, well, then I'm going to move on to the alternating series test. Can I prove that this is convergent using the alternating series test? Well, if I can't use any of those, they're all not working out, then I'm going to move on to the ratio test. And if that doesn't work out, I'm going to move to the root test, okay? And that was kind of the order in which I did things. That's what really, really helped me. Okay, just kind of checking these tests off as I went. Okay, did I check for this, check for this, check for that? Okay, so that's what we're going to be working with when we do problems like that, where we're not given a test to use, right, in the uh, the next couple videos. I plan to have a lot so you get a lot of practice because I know that this is pretty hard stuff. I mean, we did seven different tests. So, you know, by doing all these practice problems, you should be able to really start to kind of memorize these a lot easier, get these down pat, so you're ready to go ace your sequences and series test, okay? So that's gonna do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon!